Hello and welcome to today's honor lesson. My name is Chama Serenje and I am from the China Ma Pathfinder Club. I am one of the instructors there in the Pathfinder Club. So today we'll be looking at the honor in seats and it's particularly important to those who are in friend class and also those in Ranger and Voyager because you're required to study one honor in nature. So today we'll be looking at seats. And what about seats? Um, we'll divide our lesson into eight parts. First, we'll be looking at what is the purpose of a seed? Why did God create seeds? And then we'll look at the beginning. What were the foods that were given in the Garden of Eden? Then we'll look at the parts of a seed, methods by which seeds are scattered, and then we'll look at different uses of seeds. Seeds used for food, seeds used for spices or for oils, and then we'll also look at what is necessary in order for a seed to germinate. What is germination? So come with me and pay attention because at the end of this lesson, there'll be an assignment for you. Okay, so in my hand, I have a bean seed. What is the purpose of this bean seed? I know probably the first answer that comes to your mind is for you to eat, to cook and eat, but actually, Seeds in general are created for a much bigger purpose than that. They are created to become plants so that one day this seed may grow and be a plant and bear other seeds which will be used by you and I or which will be planted again to bear other seeds and thus continuing the life of a plant. All right? So um, if we look in the Bible, and we open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, which I will read here. It says, Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth, and every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. So in the Garden of Eden, in the beginning, God made seeds and gave them to Adam and Eve as food. Every seed-bearing plant was for food. So this is what food was eaten first to, by man in the Garden of Eden. So we've covered the first two requirements. Let's move on to the next part. Now, you need to be able to identify the parts of a seed one by one. If you look at a seed, you look at how it looks on the outside, you should be able to know what is happening on the inside. And for this, I will ask you to join me on my table of analysis. Come with me. So here on the table, what you see are different kinds of seeds. Over here is the pumpkin seed, and here is the bean seed. So the outer covering of a seed is called the seed coat. And in the case of the pumpkin, it's more of a shell. But from the bean seed, you can see that the seed coat has different colors. Here it's yellow, here it's brown, and here it's white. So this, the outer cover which protects and encloses the seed um, contents is called the seed coat. Inside the seed, when you break it up, you see what is called the cotyledon. Oh, this seed is actually about to germinate. So the cotyledon is this white part which also stores some of the food and the nutrients needed by the seed. And as it grows and germinates, the cotyledon is what eventually becomes the leaves of the plant, okay? Then um, the seed, uh, the inner parts of the seed is also called the embryo and it has different parts. So I'll mention three of those um, parts. So the parts of the embryo are the epicotyl, the hypocotyl, and the radical. So the you won't be able to clearly see them from my table here, but just imagine the part called the epicotyl, which eventually becomes the shoot of the, the growing plant. And then the hypocotyl is what eventually becomes the stem. And from my little seed here, there's a little stem that is growing inside, and that is called the hypocotyl, and it eventually becomes the stem. And then the radical, becomes the root of the plant. So those are the parts of a seed that you should know. Remember the seed coat, which is the outer covering. The cotyledon stores food and eventually becomes the leaves. The 
um, embryo, which is made up of the epicotyl, the hypocotyl, and the radical. These are the parts of a seed.